Welcome to Much Ado Magnum About. Magnum. I'm Nathan. I'm and he's been taken over by the devil. <laughs> no, the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it! Hey guys! My rabbit, rabbit. Oh, we're <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're playing Rayman. There's the end. Hey, what do you know? I'm gonna kill him because I don't like him. Turn up head, turn up head, turn up head, turn up head. There's something up there. There's something up there. I knew it. It looks like death. Oh, so we're playing Rayman. Oh, it's a one life. You don't need that. Fuck that. I have 78 of those because mm -hmm. I cheated. Woo! Um. I, uh, hey guys, we're playing Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> and TJ is the Tasmanian. <laughs> oh fuck! I was not expecting that to be a bouncy one. A bouncy one? You can yeah, there's tell. no way to you, tell. Yeah, there is. I actually, if if you look at the cloud, <laughs> you're about oh. to explain the buns oh. on the cloud. No, yeah, yeah, one of the buns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. Oh, but it'll be easier to show you when I have two bun clouds next to each other. Or get chased by the moldy watermelon. I hate my hate moldy watermelon, but I do like watermelon. Even though it has pretty much no nutritional value, it's literally water and like sh natural sugar. Yeah, what's bad about that? Oh my god. You're gonna die. That's what's bad. That's what's bad. That's Watermelon what's bad. wouldn't kill me like this. I'm waiting for something terrible to happen. Oh, 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 I almost fell for it. Is so. There... See, look! The ones that disappear have like a little like b b b brown thing on them. Like a little, they look, like, they look like closed eyes or something. Yeah, it's not brown. I, I couldn't think of a color. <laughs> I got so worried. I'm partially colorblind. And when people are like, see, oh yeah, the blue thing. And I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> see, right, see, the blue thing. They're going to disappear. Yeah, I told you. Because huh. they have a little like, they look like closed eyes maybe. Oh, it's our friend with the big butt. <laughs> Diddy. Oh yeah, maybe it is closed eyes. I don't know. Um, this is terrifying. Or just, I don't, I don't know. But, uh, everything has eyeballs in this why game. Why does everything look like a fish? <laughs> Maybe the, the makers are like, oh, god damn, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop and get some sushi. I want some goddamn I, sushi. Uh, I love sushi. I heard some stories about what it was like working for Atari back in the, in oh, the mid-80s. Oh, sure, it was fucking awesome. And, like, because there were no rules. And they were just like, you know, just make a game. Make sure it works. And like, then the that's metaphor, how we got ET. Yeah, yeah, that was exactly <laughs> how. But like, the whole metaphor was like, it's exactly like Wolf of Wall Street. Like, really, people doing drugs movie, so. and like, Dude, avoiding cool. work and doing crazy things like that. There was a line of arrows that led me over this way, and I want to see what's up there. But I suck at this game, so I yeah. can't. It's probably a one up. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, supposedly, like the turnaround time on ET was like. Really, really fast. On what? On E.T. Oh, oh, e I couldn't tell that by that game. I, I, I own a copy of that game. It is back home. I have I don't that believe game. You have I it. have an Atari. To see it. You should play E.T. No, dude. It's like not. It's you can't even make fun of it. That's how bad <laughs> it is. You're like, God, this game sucks. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> um, no, and like people credit that game for like destroying. Video games of the 80s. Oh, that looks like spikes. That is spikes. Well, oh, well, there we go. There they are. Um, but like other games, like the Atari version of Pac Man that looks like awful. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Tank was a fun game. I would say, like, hey, let's throw a picture up on the, oh, s on the, you, on the screen, which I could do, but I'm really lazy and I won't. You won't listen to it again either. Because you said that in an Ape Escape episode. You know, like if I remember and I was crossing my fingers and I was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> See, Maybe that'll be like a running gag. Of like, <laughs> hey, if future TJ that ignores me every time, put up a picture <laughs> of the screen for old Pac-Man and then it won't be there. So look, it's told me to go up this way, but I can't do it because I suck. Oh, uh oh. Um, no, like oh. it does not look like Pac-Man. And they released more copies of their Pac-Man than Atari systems. What? Like, substantially more copies I feel like of the... they release more video games than systems, though. Like, that's like a fucking thing, right? I don't, I don't uh, know. Oh, I made it! You don't think so? No. I don't know, that's weird. That's weird to think about. Oh, I found the man that throws the things! Oh! Why would they create more copies? Like... Ah, hoo, 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 ah, hee, oh! I made it. Like, think of, like... On the GameCube, like, a game everybody had on GameCube. Melee, right? Okay. 
Thinking. Got it in my brain. You got it in your, your it's, brain it's hole? In, it's in the brain hole. It's in, it's in the thinking so place. So only 70%, I think it's 70%, I don't know the actual math here, but it's like 70% of GameCube owners had that game. And that's a game that you would consider everybody had for GameCube. Right. If you have a game for GameCube, it's probably that one. Yeah. Or Superman 64. I'm GameCube. I'm, it, was a, it was a bad joke. Let's <laughs> Let's move on. Let's keep going. You are so funny. <laughs> Future TJ put up a picture of Nathan laughing at his own joke. <laughs> there it was! <laughs> <laughs> and there's like just tears running down my face as well. Um, but, uh, I'm nervous about where to go from here. I don't yeah, know what this guy's supposed to go from. down. Probably follow that team. Oh. Hang. Oh. 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 Um, oh. oh. I guess I'm lives. Oh, I should have got it! Um, oh, there's the exit. Oh. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, oh, so there's 70% of, like, GameCube owners. That's not real math. But uh, only 70% probably own Melee and have Melee for the GameCube. Mm -hmm. And you, do you have a boss time? Yes, Mr. Stoon. Mr. Stoon. So only 70% of people have... So why would they release... So like 100%. Yeah, I so guess. if there were, like, say, 6 million Atari consoles, I think they released some... Crazy number, like nine million copies of Pac-Man. Wow! I really don't yes. remember the math, but that those numbers that, sound good. <laughs> a three million extra. Well, I still love that there was like a landfill of ET games. Well, yeah, because Aww, they look. didn't sell, and they were embarrassed by it. Wasn't this like tar? These these look like more Rayman people. I don't like what I'm doing. Why so, was he crying that there's a rock in the way? Why plays guitar? What a cool... The musician gives Rayman a super helicopter. Look at his little He's beard. like, it's drugs! <laughs> <laughs> Press the X button to use it. Press X again to go higher. Oh, it is 420 today. Boop, boop. Is it? Uh, yeah, but it, this won't be released on 420. Oh, it's not... Well, so... Uh, it's not 420. It's... It's... TJ, uh, you should put in the real date later. <laughs> I am completely ignoring all these directions. Um, but yeah... This oh, is not a mechanic that I like. This is reminding me of Metroid, like little mechanics like this where they keep upping the ante. Up! Oh, oh, I, I, never mind. That's, oh, this is like... That's less scary by a lot. So wait, now here's where I'm curious. Do you think this power will last or it will... No, no, because it, no, it is drugs, dude. Drugs don't last. That's temporary, bro. Just like life. They bro. should explain it better than like... This weird hillbilly just gave you. Well, we, do you remember? Do you remember when you got super seed power? Oh yeah, yeah it's like that. The power of seed. The power of planting things. What? Uh, <laughs> the power of pull. I'm done. Um. Oh, so let's talk about story number two about Doctor Orb. Oh yeah, we didn't say that. <laughs> so, so uh, my my very good. I would call him a friend. Uh, he's one of the best piano players. No, he is the best piano player I've ever seen in my life. And um, I'm going you to are, like, literally specifically die. running. Into the <laughs> okay. You got this. So. so Let's talk about Dr. Orf. Well, if this mechanic is really bad, because like, I tap it, and like you go up a little bit, and then you stay, and I can't really hover Sounds effectively. Like excuse. Maybe I can if I just hold it. Nope. Um, okay, so Dr. Orf was great. And we would... Um, oh, he's doing a square, I see. And we would... Um, the music department where I went to school at, a little, little school called Bradley University, uh, the music department would... Um, my fraternity out there, which was a music fraternity would sponsor this thing where you could, like, buy a date with, like, a, a, any music faculty you want. Like, whoever raised the most money would buy a date with this music faculty. So, like, a bunch of my buddies and I there in the music department put, like, a, way more money than we should have put down for this date because we really wanted it to happen. And, like, the group of, like, six of us bought, like, oh, God, you know, we bid, like, a hundred bucks all together on him. Oh, Jesus. And so we got this date with him, and the date literally consisted of inviting him over to my buddy's house who lived in the town that we went to school at, and uh, eating pizza and drinking Mountain Dew and playing Halo, and it was great. And he was the worst Halo player that I have ever seen. Like, I guarantee you, like, a six-year-old could pick it up quicker than he did. But again, best, best piano player I've ever seen in my life. Worst Halo player. See, we played more <laughs> Call of Duty in college. Early college, early college TJ. Later college TJ didn't have any time for anything. Yeah. Um, but uh, later college, and it, we'd, we'd always like bring our girlfriends to play Call of Duty, Ooh. and uh, I was very good at it. But I would always like get to know the maps at least. 
Because that, for those kind of games, like... You have to know those maps. You have to know the yeah. maps. Like, that's way more important than your actual skills. Like, knowing the maps. Ugh! Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's gonna kill me. It killed me. Nope. Oh! Well, you're dead. What the fuck is happening? What is that? Jump, like, I don't know. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to, like, do 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 Oh, weird. Oh, am I supposed to cut it with my... Oh, weird. Oh, weird. Weird. This sucks. This is garbage. Garbage. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so... Oh, we didn't invite girlfriends over to play, and uh, they would not do good. And it was, it was cute. Uh-oh, I'm that gonna die. That was the end of my story. I'm dead. You are drowning. Maybe this, this is, is a boss. This is well, a stupid fucking mechanic, and I hate it. Floating? Did you, you never played the Metroidvania games, right? Uh, I played some of the Castlevania games. Not that, I, like never, I, I was never about that Metroid life. Metroid, um... Fusion is your favorite game ever, yes. We uh, all know that. Yeah, and, uh, but the screw attack me mechanic was always really awkward. For me, at least. Some others might do. Oh, I made it! Woo! No, I, I love I love those games. There's a really great uh, indie game called Rogue Legacy, where it's like a Metroidvania game, and it's fucking sexy. The guy that originally made like the PlayStation uh, Castlevania game, he like released an indie game, I think. That's Did like, he? pretty much Castlevania, but it's called something different. Awesome. Well, Rogue Legacy is pretty much Castlevania, but it's really cool because like it, it's also like a rogue like. I don't know if you know what that means, where it's like rogue. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's where weird. it's um, a roguelike is like every time you play it, like you die and you start over, and like the map's different, you know, they're a little bit different, and your characters are different. So like, oh, this character is a midget. Oh, this character is super fast. Oh, this character can't see color. Oh, this character only curses. Oh, this character is like a little weird thing. Uh, oh, this okay. character is dyslexic. So all like the words in the game. No, that's a spike. There I go. All the words in the game are, like, flipped around and shit. It's, it was a really clever idea. And you could be born with, like, two or three of the things. <laughs> so, like, when I would get a hero that's like, you're colorblind and dyslexic, I'm like, wow. You don't have that. your super helicopter power anymore, do you? No, no. I just have stupid normal uh. hair. <laughs> oh, I wish I had it right now! Uh -oh. Nope. This is... This is... They're, they're upping the ante. Yeah. And next time... We're going to out up their ante with our anti-ups. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>